everybody, I'm back. All right, do a quick video. I have my beat. Put it on. Give my lips a little color. Naturally, I washed it already. I put some carrots in. I put nine almonds. I'm gonna put some parsley. Yeah, you know, there's this bread that was introduced to by my mother's friend called Ezekiel bread. And it's from the Bible. It, it's, it's exactly from the Bible. They keep it frozen in regular supermarkets called Ezekiel bread. And uh, it doesn't taste very good to the average person. It has a lot of fiber. You eat some of that, you you'll go. If you, you have any problems, you won't with that. You could really like put some jelly on it, or you know something, something sweet because they're all. It's all live. That's why they keep it frozen. It's it's live uh, sprouts and. You use it as what am I doing? You use it as froze as it's frozen. You take it out frozen, you toast it or put it in the oven, and uh, go to Ezekiel. Look up, uh, look up in the back of the uh, Bible, uh, Ezekiel bread or bread in, in Ezekiel, and. It has the, the exact recipe, and it means it's alive, you know, live food. That's what we need to eat, not dead. I'm sorry, but... If you like your meat, eat it. It just turns me off, you know? I, I just don't like anything with eyes. You know, I heard that they had to slaughter all them cows, man. All them cows, that guy was nearly crying. I mean, it's a shame. You, you get, you, you know, they're like, they got a spirit, and the farmers know it. They, they do what they have to do, make a living, but they don't want to have to kill 70 or 700 cows just for nothing, you know? I don't like that. That's, that's, what can we do? Gotta be able to do something about this. Buy a cow, everybody buy a cow. Everybody, everybody uh, adopt a cow. But then you gotta buy the food. The, the feed is expensive. The government is killing the farmers with the price of the feed. You look into a cow's eyes. Don't tell me, you know, you wouldn't. Forget it, man. I, I used to be around horses a lot. In Bergen Beach, Believe Brooklyn. Or not in <laughs> come from Brooklyn. <laughs> I lived all over Brooklyn. Or oh, I lived in the projects down Sheepshead Bay. I lived in Red Hook Project. I grew up in Red Hook Projects, which go on is 225 Hoyt Street. You know, they friggin' still didn't fix the damn top of, of the awning like like when you when you walk out it's still wood I, I, I'm pretty sure you know I haven't been there in a while but they better have fixed that by now I, I, I don't like that shit you know that was my my, my grandparents they they lived on uh, that was uh, um Puvia. They lived on uh, President Street, or one of them, and one of uh, one of them lived on Second Place and Smith Street. I lived on Hoyt Street, and there used to be gangs outside, you know. And uh, but they weren't like gangs, you know. It was it was when the West Side Story came out, and um, so there was you know. <laughs> There was the love story. So I had I was on the third floor. There's only three flights in these projects here. And I had great neighbors, man. You know, uh, 
I love the Spanish food. I still have a love for that Spanish food. Aurora, you know, my mother's best friend. My mother always made a best friend, you know. And and the cooking, you know, back and forth, you know, parties. We used to have rent parties when when people didn't have rent. We'd have a, a, a rent party. You buy the beer, you charge five dollars a person to come in and you just have a big party and we used to these people got their drink on, they got their their rent. And you know, that's a, that's a really good idea to start doing again, you know. Yeah, have, have a rent party, you know. I mean, I used to go to the Fox Theater every, every Friday night. I used to go to the Fox Theater or whenever they used to have the... the we used to go, I had a, a sister four years old and a brother uh, 11 months older. And we used to go overnight down Fulton Street at night and, and so we had our other friends. There was one other white family in, in the building. So I had one white best friend and one Puerto Rican best friend, Jaguita Maria. She was so cute. We used to all go down with Aurora's daughter Maria and sleep. And Inez, it's Inez was Bernadette's sister, who was my age, Bernadette, and Inez was my sister's age. So my sister had a Cuban boyfriend. My father flipped out. He, he was like, my sister was 14 going to John Jay High School. I don't know where she went to Catholic school. And uh, it was so funny though. We had some good times, you know. They used to do what outside the windows, you know. So we used to sleep outside overnight and to get the front seat of the, of the Fox Theater. I saw all Motown live from the Supremes to the Dion Warwick. Tom Jones, he could, he was in a Murray the K and the Swingin' Soiree. Four Tops with the Temptations, they were the best. I, I used to go there and uh, Eddie Kendricks, I asked him for his hanky, to throw me his hanky. And he threw it and somebody else grabbed it. I was so mad. He throws it to me and this bitch grabs it from behind. Uh, I, every time I, they were there, I was there. He was, he was really, you know. I saw, I saw all of them. Stevie Wonder, Gladys Knight and the Pips, uh, oh, uh, James Brown. Oh man, when Stevie Wonder did fingertips, it was uh, awesome, awesome. He was 14 years old. So I had a good life. I had a good child life living down in Red Hook, you know, and. Uh, you know, kind of, uh, uh, all, my, all my friends from there, Bernadette ended up going nuts because they made her give up her baby because he was half black. And she just couldn't, I didn't find out till decades later. You know, then the, uh, she was a dancer uh, when they had the, um, the girls in the cage, you know, the disco days when they had that. And she was a topless dancer, Bernadette. She was a little nutsy when we were young. <laughs> but, you know, she was fast, you know. I wasn't. I was scared, you know. I was, I was a good girl. She was found a few times with boys. I, I never did that. I, I was scared. And I'm talking about nine, ten years old, okay? We, we were little. And uh, anyway, I used to look out my window at night. We had to be up at dark at nighttime. We had to be up upstairs when the lights went out on the street. We could only stay on the stoop, you know? So the, the uh, gang used to come over and they, the girls, they used to, um, we used to do double dutch, right? And then, uh, when we were tired of that, then it was the hula hoop. 
and then uh, the girls from from you know the old the teenagers they used to come over and teach us how to sing. They used to actually teach us how to sing, duop, you know, um, you know all that, all the tones. They taught us harmony. Um, me and my sister cut a record in Coney Island doing harmony. We were good. She played the piano. I played guitar, but not at the same time we did, right? But I'm from a musical family. A lot of my plays the piano. They used to play the piano. My father's brothers. And okay, it's time to see what I can get out of this juice. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I can't find the top. <laughs> Freak did I do with the top? I tell you, I I've been looking at stuff all day. Look, 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 look. So there was a, the love affairs with the um, Phil Joe and Maria, and uh, there was some, some drama I used to watch from oh fighting, you know, jealous, you know, jealousy and stuff like that. You know, uh, they you be sitting out there singing Valor, and they were good. Let me tell you, they were good. And then there would be the uh, uh, Maria and her boyfriend having fights, and then I seen them like ten years later walking down Central Park, and I run into she has a stroller with a baby in it, and there's Joe. And 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 then and Maria with the baby, and there I was. <laughs> All right, delicious, man. I gotta drink this chug a lug and get going. So you have a great night, people. And do what I can't do, play music while I'm videotaping. You have a good night.